Welcome to Fits on the Go. We have Dr. Park joining us. Uh, he is a trial investigator of the PREVENT trial. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Park. It's, it's my pleasure. It's a real honor having you here. Thank all you right. for addressing all of us. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your trial? All right. Uh, our uh, PREVENT trials actually has a focus on the imaging, you know, defined bullet wall plaque. Uh, actually, uh, we don't have, uh, you know, idea about the how to treat or not to treat concern, you know, imaging defined blood work plaque concern. And so we tried uh, after prospect trials, you know that, right? Yes, yes. Non-culprit lesion had uh, almost the same, you know, uh, base rate uh, with a culprit lesion subset in case of acupuncture syndrome, three vessel imaging studies. And so we got some ideas and then we really focus on the, you know, imaging defined blood wall plaque, uh, defined by prospect study and another near spectroscope, you know, large, you know, core, repeat core burden, something like that. And so uh, that is our main study uh, objectives and uh, we'll, uh, you know, how to get at the whole patient with mainly and geographically silicon stenosis more than 50% something like and then and negative FFR, you know, non-flow remitting. Over there, so we do any you know several kind of uh, imaging, intravascular imaging, and then find out some you know palatable plaque conditions, right? So randomize. Just focus on the you know treat with the stand versus optimal medical therapy. Uh, which will do it better, so, however, mainly uh, weak as kind of a, a preventive PCI would be better than the optimal medical, you know, therapy. That is my words. That's wonderful. It's a very interesting study. Mm -hmm. It is hard in interventional cardiology mm -hmm. to design a randomized trial. All right. How, what challenges did you encounter when you were working on building this trial? All right. Uh, this is very you know, uh, challenging data since uh, the, the reason why actually non-flow remitting negative FFR, we're going to do treat of them, right? And so uh, in terms of our data, anyway, so it uh, a preventive uh, uh, PCI would be better than the optimal medical therapy. So uh how would you apply this concept to the real world of practice so that is the main issue for our trials uh, however i think it's kind of a, just uh you know uh hypothesis generating and then in a practical point of view you do you know imaging supported pci i do However, in you know global penetration of imaging guided PCI would be still uh, less than ten percent, something like that. So uh, our concept is really bit difficult to you know directly you know apply to the uh, practice concern. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And I think the world is divided on imaging, as you know. Yeah. And I think you are more OCT preferred. Yeah. No, 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 no. There are many, uh, you know, uh, imaging modality, including the grayscale IBUS and uh, RF IBUS and VH IBUS, though, is we have the decorative core, something like that, and OCT, those, and there are many uh, different kind of uh, modalities. Uh, however, for the our studies, we didn't, you know, define which one is better than something. Okay. Just, uh, you know, user friendly. Uh, Grace get out, so why not? You want to choose that? And so just the <clears throat> conditions, you know, a representative uh, blood or plaque, uh, something like a uh, high plaque volume, more than 70%, less than four millimeter scales, the minimal illuminated, that is more popular, you know, criteria for uh, defining blood or plaque in our study. And so we don't care about the, you know, which device would be better, something like that, right? Was there a difference in osteal lesions, tortuous lesions? Do that matter as much? No, 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 no. It is not uh, our study. We didn't concern about that. Just uh, maybe exposed osteal lesions, you know, just the one stand, relatively big vessels around more than three, you know, a millimeter, something like that. 
I hear this from across the globe in terms of how is it challenging to get patients on optimal medical therapy. I know we all say optimal medical therapy, but sometimes... All right, that is, uh, you know, standard concept from the guidelines, you know, ACCH guidelines, you know, antihypertension medications, you know, uh, high modifications, uh, stop smoking, and uh, treated with uh, hypercholesterolemia aggressively, so, you know, the older, you know, uh, effort for the medical treatment would be included in optimal medical setup. Wonderful. All right. Now, I'm really excited. All right. I, I think you are, whatever you're presenting and the results are going to be asking a lot of questions uh -huh. and making people think a lot. All right. This is going against the rest of interventional cardiology, so I'm excited. Right. So, but thank you. Uh, right. To watch more videos like this, please check out youtube.com slash fits on the go and follow us on X at the rate of fits on the go. Thank you. That's the first one.